Hi. This is a little bit of a different format from the normal video, but if uh, I like how this goes, we're going to be doing it this way from now on. So recently I've been wanting to improve my photography. I mainly do portraits, uh, pictures of people, shoot events, that kind of stuff, and it's fun. I like it, very enjoyable, but it's something I'm really comfortable with, and I want to try and push myself to do more types of photography and improve the types of photography that I do do already. And one of these types of photography that I want to get a lot better that's been kind of neglected over the years doing a lot of client work and that I haven't really had a lot of time for or put time for, I guess, is landscape photography. You could kind of mix it with a little bit of street photography. It's kind of all one area for me. It's something that I don't really do a lot, but it's something I enjoy doing quite a bit. I find that it helps actually get me out there and take photos more than doing uh, fashion shoots and event shoots all the time. Like I said, while they are fun, it can be a little draining doing client stuff, so it's nice to take time and do a different type of photography for myself. So one of the ways that I've started doing this is I'll go out on photo walks. I have a reminder sent on my phone every day or every couple days, depending on how busy my week is, to go out and take a walk. It doesn't have to be long. It can be 10 minutes, five minutes. It could be an hour, two hours even. The goal is to just get outside and take photos. While we're going through this, if I'm looking away, I got my little iPad here with all the photos on here. I have a little board. We'll go over it in a different video, my board for uh, an upcoming uh, photo contest, actually. So it's kind of a tie-in. These photos I want to be able to use for other things. That's why I want them to be nice. Uh, not all of them are, are great, but I, I feel like most of them have been getting better the more often I go out. So the first day that I went out, it had been cloudy all day and kind of kind of a gloomy day. It's the last bit of really nice weather, uh, like mid 70s and, you know, sunny and nice before it goes to 40 degrees and 30 degrees and, you know, keeps dropping and as well as the sunlight basically being non-existent after four. But in the evening, I saw that it was clearing up and it was going to be a really nice sunset. And it was also, which I had forgotten about to that evening, a lunar eclipse that evening so the sun is going to be really big and bright and full and I didn't take any pictures of it because I only had my wide angle of my 50 millimeter lens so it looks super tiny but you'll be able to see it on the videos of me going out. The idea for a lot of these pictures overall is to capture the Midwest. I feel like there's not a lot of stuff around here for me to take pictures of and that kind of mindset's keeping me from going out and actually taking pictures. And there is a lot of good stuff to take pictures of around here. It's just you get a thought in your head and you just it sticks there, you know? So this is kind of to help me get out of that rut as well of saying there's nothing around here to take pictures of. And I've been watching a lot of film photographers and it's kind of inspired me to get out more because with film photographers, they take a lot of mundane things and make them look really, really beautiful. And I like that. And there's a lot of stuff around where I am that I see and I'm now starting to think that would look really nice and that's kind of what these outings are going to be about so i'm walking around and it's starting to be this really pretty light there's birds flying in the air the moon's coming up it's a decent time of the night and i just kind of restricted myself to this one street basically and i'm trying to see how many things i can capture in that area that will make it look different and more interesting and i thought this one was really cool it's kind of a small snippet where it captures the kind of duller sky of the evening, some of the wispy clouds, and you'll see those later when the sun sets. But I just really like the colors and the fact that it just captures this small little corner of the street where not a lot's going on. But there is that one car there and I think it helps balance out the composition. I don't know, I just, I like the way that it's set up. Uh, also taking that same building, we have the same side of the building but we moved a little bit back and we can get this big uh, grain silo or what used to be a grain silo in there i feel like it gives a good scale to the picture as well height something far away you can kind of see the side peeking through on the 
right hand side and I don't have a video going over this area specifically but I thought I'd bring him up. One of the earlier pictures I took, well not my favorite picture, I still like the composition of it, how it's split basically down the middle and it has these X's basically that even subframe it a little more in a way. I don't know, I, th I think it turned out all right. Kind of moving around, we have one of the sides of the building and I look at this one as more of a texture shot than anything. It's kind of grabbing the decay of it and the pristine like grass below it because it's all mowed. It's near a, a new school building basically. These old grain silos that haven't been used in forever. And I just really like the look of it. Uh, if we move across the street a little more, we went to the grain silo and there was another thing with just keeping things kind of symmetrical, the circle above the door, the fence post in the middle of the door. You can kind of see some of the pink starting to peek into the picture as well, uh, since it's becoming that later evening. And it looks, the sky was looking really cool. We captured a few of those things kind of closer up. And so I started to kind of walk back, go back towards the area I was originally, see if anything changed over there. And while I'm walking back, there's a lot of birds that started flying around. I wish I could have captured this uh, a little better because there's a specific shot I tried to get the next day where there's this one photographer I saw who takes a composite of hundreds and hundreds of images of birds and shows their flight path basically. And I thought it'd be really cool with this big flock of birds, but when I went back the next day, there were three birds flying around instead of the like dozens of birds in this picture. So, uh, you know, you, you can't always predict everything, but I think I got cool pictures of the birds uh, with the silo and then I stepped back on the street further and got another cool picture of another silo across the street which is basically the only picture I got on that one, but I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, later on that evening, I also went back to the original spot where there was the uh, two pictures in the beginning that we took, and there's the store across the street, and it happened to be the only one lit up. There's a lot of uh, boarded up stuff over on this side of town. There's also a picture I took going back a couple days later uh, to show up one of the other places. But this one across the street caught my eye because it's the only one open and there's a lot of bright colors and I just liked, I just like how it looked in the camera, honestly. There's nothing else behind it. Yeah, I thought it looked cool. Uh, the last picture that I included for this evening was right before I got in my car, I ended up looking over and the street lights started to flick on and I decided to snap a last picture and while well, the picture's not super technically advanced or anything fun like that, I think this picture gives you a nice feel for the environment and that's kind of the goal for the rest of these pictures too. They don't need to be the prettiest pictures, but as long as they give you the feel of, you know, the specific Midwest town and what it feels like, just be there in that moment, that's the goal. So I ended up also going back the next evening because I figured I wanted to try out a couple more things like the bird shot that didn't really pan out. It was another day where it was cloudy in the morning and then it started um, being really sunny in the evening. And I wanted to get some different pictures than I'd gotten before. Uh, the first one in the evening, we kind of went back to the first pictures in the video. And I walked down the alleyway and there was a lot of cool graffiti. And I snapped this picture. And I didn't take a lot of pictures uh, this evening. A lot of them were later on versus earlier. But one of the ones that I do really like was kind of a passing picture that I didn't put too much thought into. I looked over and there was some graffiti on this big old grain silo where you'd originally have like a truck come in, they'd fill it up with grain and leave. And there was a lot of dappled light coming in through a tree. And I just thought it looked really cool with the more golden cast on it. I ended up getting there a little later in the evening too. So a lot of the pictures ended up being long exposure since I don't normally take a lot of those types of pictures. Uh, the clouds were moving really fast in the sky. There was really nice colors, kind of purple, magenta. Uh, the place where I stopped to take the only pictures that I really liked out of it, I took like 20 long exposure pictures and I hated most all of them except for these two. But the long exposure, I think it looks nice. The lights look really cool from the cars. And I just think the movement in the clouds is really cool looking. Overall, if we're looking at kind of all these pictures here there's some extra pictures but i think they all kind of fit well together for the different types of situations and kind of trying some new types of photography new ways of looking at things composing things 
taking pictures of things that I normally wouldn't think I would like taking pictures of or would look good in a picture. Yeah, I, I think I'll definitely be going on some more photo walks and uh, doing more of these types of videos. My website's down in the description if you want to see the other type of work that I do, more fashion event stuff. Uh, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.